right, we are here at the world famous Bucky's. Probably one of the largest gas station convenience stores, uh, at least in Texas, possibly in America. Two rows of gas pumps with two in each lane. There are well over 50, 50, there are probably close to 100 gas pumps right here. Two columns all the way down. This building is absolutely enormous. The parking area alone is bigger than most, most convenience stores. And uh, Bucky's is a beaver. And here he is, the beaver himself is here. Mask. And he's wearing a mask. Poor Bucky. Can we take his mask down? You're outside, Bucky. Take your mask off. Well, no. Nah. Somebody looked like they put a shirt on him, but I guess that's... It is a shirt. Yeah. And this is probably a shirt they sell inside. Yeah. This thing has more rows of ice outside than I can imagine. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. I'm gonna stop counting. I'm gonna say fifty ice containers. And look all down on the all, other and side. And then on the other side, probably a hundred ice containers out here. Yep. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. See if they pay good. Taking a fortune. Welcome. <laughs> when we crossed the Arkansas border mm -hmm. into Texas, there was the first billboard for Bucky's. It was 87 miles away. And I'm not joking. 87 miles away was the first billboard for Bucky's. And here's the most interesting part. Uh, as we followed these massive giant billboards for 87 miles, it took us about 40 miles before we could understand what a Bucky's was. They would just put these little cute sayings on there and we didn't tell us it was a store, didn't tell us it was a gas station, they didn't tell us anything. And it uh, became to the point where like we have to go to Bucky's just to figure out what it is. <laughs> and I guess it worked because here we are in a Bucky's. And man, they got everything in here. This store is amazing. It's like camping equipment grills smokers yeah they got some grilling sauces up there and um i'm gonna i'm gonna hold the camera up as high as i can to try to get an idea of this the, the the length of this store i know and it's so far away i doubt you could see the end of the store in that shot but we're gonna walk it where'd where'd cheryl go All right, well, I see a sign that says restroom, so that's where I'm going to head. And we are going to pick yeah, ourselves cool. up oh. some pecan trios. We're going to pick up one of these. Oh, no. They're 12 on the Yeah, they look pretty good, though. Get them. Get them. So everything here is a uh, beaver related because Bucky's is a beaver. So here's a little Bucky beavers. And, and uh, they got their name, Bucky Beaver and Beaver Nuggets and... Good. Anyway, it just goes on and on with the beaver thing. It's kind of funny. Yeah, where'd she go? Oh, well, let's go look at jerky then. I love jerky. I bet that's expensive too. Yeah, you know, we're in a fairly high-end uh, store here. I wouldn't call this a convenience store, but... But, you know, this is kind of a one-time experience for us. So. We'll pay a little bit for them. The praline ones look good. Four more ounces. Yeah. So where's the jerky? Here it is. We are in the jerky section now. Gentleman's cut. So uh, I'm not sure how many ounces these are. How many ounces is this? Nine ounces for ten bucks. That's actually a good price yeah, compared good. to Virginia prices. Blank steak. Yeah, yeah, they got a Bucky. They got a Bucky's brand here. So, all right. So we ended up going with the Hill Country brand teriyaki beef jerky, uh, a ten ounce bag, uh, much better value. It's only it's only like five dollars more than the four ounce bag. I'm just standing here, 
walking in circles, guys. This place is. There is so much stuff here. We're looking at jerky. Actually, we bought some jerky. Oh, is that okra? It is okra. What are you doing with it? It's dried okra. Cheryl, dried okra. No? No dried okra? Nuts. Taffy gummies. Yeah, all along that wall. So they have an entire wall okay. with gummies, taffy, dried fruit, trail mix, and nuts. And we're not talking to a little wall here, y'all. Oh my gosh. Dark chocolate raisins. Get me out of here. Get me out of this place. And what did you get? You got these pecans. I got these almond covered here. Yogurt? Uh-huh, almond covered yogurt. They sound good. You'll get them dark chocolate almonds, man. That's way better. <laughs> yogurt's, too, yogurt's too good for you. We need something that's bad for you. It's not yogurt. Boy, that was a lot of candy, y'all. That entire wall. <laughs> They're still here. Look at this everywhere. All right, we're in the... We're in the pretzel section. We found the pretzel count. Pretzel. Oh my goodness! Look on the other side. This is the uh, popcorn. popcorn section. Honey macadamia crunch. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Pecan cinnamon. Man, I got to get out of this place. Look at this, guys. We've got chefs in here cooking brisket. They're making brisket sandwiches and other foods in here. Look at right on that board. Look at the brisket on that board. Amazing. Bakery, tacos. Yeah, I smell some kind of like rolls or something. Yeah, you're looking right at them. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is an amazing bakery here. Okay, here's the real jerky. Maybe we should have gotten the real jerky. Look at this, guys. Ghost pepper. Oh no, don't win that. This is an entire case of jerky. $25 a pound. I'm still going. We're still doing jerky. Finally stopped. What does she want? This fudge? Is fudge. Fudge variety. Bucky fudge. Bucky ice cream. Oh, it's hard to walk past this place. I know, we just finished the Tex-Mex, or I would be absolutely buying me some sandwiches. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that little Bucky's tour. It's uh, kind of weird that this would be a destination to film, but I mean, this is truly a destination. I really hope the camera can pick up the size magnitude of what I'm showing you.